Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss exercise 5.4. If you didn't watch my previous videos, the link is in the description, watch it. The first bit is, find the nature of the roots. If real roots exist, then find them. Okay, first let us find the nature of the roots. The formula we are going to use is B square minus 4AC. So, x square coefficient is a so a is equals to 2 x coefficient is b so b is equals to minus 3 and constant is c so c is equals to 5 let us substitute these numbers in the formula b square is there so b value is minus 3 minus 3 whole square minus 4 into a value 2 into c value 5 minus 3 square 9 minus 4 2s are 8, 8 5s are 40, 9 minus 40 minus 31. So, in this case, we got b square minus 4ac value less than 0. So, if b square minus 4ac value is less than 0, then the roots are imaginary roots so here he said clearly if real roots exist then only we need to find those zeros so here we have both the zeros are imaginary so no need to find those zeros okay the next question is 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 is equal to 0 so here x square coefficient is a 3 so a is equal to 3 x coefficient is minus 4 root 3 so b value minus 4 root 3 and constant c is equal to 4 so if we substitute b square minus 4ac b is nothing but minus 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 into a value 3 into c value 4 here minus square will become plus 4 square 16 into root 3 square 3 minus 4 4 are 16 16 into 3 16 into 3 minus 16 into 3 0 so here we got b square minus 4ac value equals to 0 so it has real and equal equal zeros if b square minus 4ac is exactly equal to 0 then that particular given equation has real and equal zeros so in this case real zeros are there so we need to find out what are those zeros i am substituting the formula minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a so here minus as it is Again, B value, minus 4 root 3, plus or minus, under root, B square minus 4AC, just now we did B square minus 4AC value as 0, so root 0, whole divided by 2 into A value, A is nothing but 3, so we get minus of minus 4, 4 root 3 divided by 2 into 3. Here plus or minus under root 0, under root 0 is nothing but 0, so that's why I am not writing that 0. 2 1s are 2 2s are, so the final answer is 2 root 3 divided by 3. So the two zeros are 2 root 3 by 3 and 2 root 3 by 3. Because we know very well those two real zeros are equal to each other, so 2 root 3 by 3 and 2 root 3 by 3. Okay, the next question is, x square coefficient is 2, so a value 2, x coefficient minus 6, so b value minus 6, and constant 3, so c is equal to 3. Let us substitute in the formula, b square minus 4ac, b value minus 6, so minus 6 whole square, minus 4 into a value 2, into c value 3, minus 6 square, 36, minus 4 2 za, 8, 8 3 za, 24, so 36 minus 24, 12. Here, b square minus 4ac value is greater than 0. So, if b square minus 4ac value is greater than 0, then the roots are real and distinct. Okay, now let us find out what are those zeros. Minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. 
minus b value again minus 6 plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac value already we got as 12 divided by 2 into a value 2 minus of minus 6 plus 6 plus or minus root 12 can be written as root 12 is equals to root 4 into 3 root 4 is nothing but 2 so it can be written as 2 root 3 so root 12 is nothing but 2 root 3 divided by 2 of 2 now in the numerator from the first term as well as from the second term I will take out 2 common so 6 is there 2 3 is a 6 plus or minus here 2 already I took outside so remaining with root 3 whole divided by 2 into 2 here 2 2 will get cancelled so we remains with 3 plus or minus under root 3 whole divided by 2 so the two zeros are 3 plus or minus root 3 divided by 2 it means 3 plus root 3 by 2 and 3 minus root 3 by 2 okay, the next bit is find k if they have two e equal roots here the polynomial is given as 2x square plus kx plus 3 is equal to 0 so what is the condition we have when a equation has two equal roots b square minus 4ac equals to 0 now in this case what is the b value x coefficient k k square minus 4 into a value x square coefficient 2 into c value constant 3 is equal to 0 k square minus 4 2 is 8 8 3 is 24 is equal to 0 this minus 24 i will bring to the right side it will become plus 24 so k square is equal to plus 24 k square value is plus 24 then what about k value plus or minus under root 24 so k is equals to plus or minus under root 24 okay, the next question is kx into x minus 2 plus 6 first let us simplify the given question outside into first one kx into x kx square minus outside into second kx into 2 2kx plus 6 is equal to 0. Here x square coefficient is k. So a value k. x coefficient minus 2k. So b is equal to minus 2k. And constant is 6. Now he gave that the given equation has two equal zeros. So b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. Now let us substitute. <coughs> Here b is nothing but minus 2k. So in the place of b minus 2k. Whole square minus 4 into a value k into c value 6 is equals to 0 minus square is plus 2 square is 4 k square minus 4 into k 4 k into 6 24 k is equals to 0 this minus 24 k i will take to the right side so we will get 4 k square is equals to 24 k here 1 k here square will cancel so we remains with 4 k is equals to 24 then k is equals to 24 by 4 which is nothing but 4 1s are 4 6 are so k value is 6 ok let's move to the third bit ok the third bit is is it possible to design rectangle rectangular mangrove groove whose length is twice its breadth and area is 800 meter square observe here length is twice its breadth so breadth is the last word so that's why breadth i am taking as some constant x here length is twice so length is 2x and he gave area so area is equals to length into breadth area he gave as 800 is equals to length 2x into breadth x so here 800 is equals to 2x into x 2x square now we want x square value so i will take 2 to the left side so we will get 800 divided by 2 is equals to x square 2 1s are 2 4 hundreds are so x square is equals to 400 
So x square is equal to 400. Then what about x value plus or minus 20? And x is nothing but we took it as breadth. So breadth will be always positive only. So that's why x is equal to plus 20 meters. That is nothing but breadth. Then what about length? 2 into x 2 into 20 which is equals to 40 meters breadth 20 meters for length 40 meters breadth and length both we got so we can say that yes it is possible to design a rectangular mangrove groove with the given measurements okay question number four the sum of the ages of two friends is 20 years. Four years ago, the product of their ages was 48. Is this situation possible? If possible, find their ages. Okay, now let us start. Two friends are there. So, I am writing those names as just first friend and second friend only, no problem. If you want, you can write friend A, friend B also, no problem. Now, two friends are there, first friend age. I don't know, I am taking as some constant x. And in the first condition, he gave very clearly sum of the ages of two friends is 20. Then first friend age is x years means, then second friend will be 20 minus x. Next, four years ago, now present age is x, then four years ago it will be x minus 4. Next. Present age is 20 minus x. Then what about 4 years ago? 20 minus x minus 4. Product of their ages. These two ages multiplication is 48. So x minus 4 into 20 minus 4. 16 minus x is equals to 48. If we do simplification. First number into first number. First number into second number. x into 16. 16x x into minus x minus x square next second number into first number second number into second number minus 4 into 16 minus 64 minus 4 into minus x plus 4x is equals to 48 here 16x plus 4x 20x minus x square minus 64 is equals to 48 now, I will take everything to the right side. So, this minus x square will become plus x square. Mi plus 20x will become minus 20x. Minus 64 will become plus 64. Plus 48 as it is equals to 0. Now, x square as it is. Minus 20x plus 64 plus 48 plus 112 is equals to 0. Now, by splitting the middle term into two terms, we need to find the x value. So, first for that, I am first finding the nature. b square minus 4ac. What is the b value here? Minus 20 whole square. Minus 4 into a value 1 into c value 112. Minus square is nothing but plus. So, 20 square 400 minus 4 into 1, 4. 4 into 1, 1, 2. 4 ones are 4, 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8. 400 minus 448 minus 48. B square minus 4ac value is minus 48. It means less than 0. So, if B square minus 4ac is less than 0, it will be having imaginary roots but ages won't be in the imaginary numbers so this situation is not possible okay last question in this exercise is it possible to design a rectangular park of perimeter 80 meters so perimeter of a rectangle formula is 2 into L plus B. Here perimeter is given as 80 which is equals to 2 of L plus B. Now 2 I will take to the left side. So we will get 80 by 2 equals to L plus B. 2 ones are 2 40 za. So length plus breadth is equals to 40 meters. Now how much length is there? How much breadth is there? I don't know. So that's why I am taking as length as some X meters. Then what about the breadth? Sum of the length and breadth is 40. Length already we took as x. Then what about breadth? 40 minus x meters. 
next and he gave area as 400 meters so sorry meter square area is equal to length into breadth area is given as 400 which is equals to length is x into breadth is 40 minus x Four hundred is equals to x into forty forty x minus x into x x square. Now I'll bring everything to left side. Minus x square will become plus x square plus forty x will become minus forty x plus four hundred is equals to zero. Now here x square as it is. This minus forty x I will write it as minus twenty x minus twenty x plus four hundred is equals to zero. So from the first to two terms I am taking x common so we get x minus 20 again minus 20 common so we remains with x minus 20 is equals to 0. So the factors we will get as x minus 20 into x minus 20 is equals to 0. Here minus 20 here minus 20 is there so x value will be plus 20 plus 20. Of course both are same anyway so that's why I am taking as x is equals to 20 meters. Then what about this x? x is nothing but length. So length is equals to 20 meters. Then what about the breadth? Again this is also equals to 20 meters only. So length 20 meters, breadth also 20 meters. He is asking, is it possible to design a rectangular park of perimeter 80 meters and area 400 meters square? Yes, it is possible. But when, when the length and breadth are both equal, if the length and breadth both are equal to each other, that figure will become a square but not a rectangle of course according to the property of a square every square is a rectangle so we can conclude that yes it is possible to design a rectangular park of the given measurements till now if you didn't subscribe to my channel subscribe for more videos thank you